Hi YouTube, I'm Jack, a radiology trainee in London. As requested by you, today I'll be walking you through the application process for radiology specialty training in the UK. I'll talk about where to find important application documents, how to navigate to the Aurea website for submitting your application. I'll talk about ranking your preferences and finally offers and upgrades. In a later video, I'll talk about how to maximize the points on your application. I'm going to start putting information on my website once it's up and running. The link will be down in the description. So enough talk, let's go. Step one is to confirm that you actually want to do radiology. Radiology is such a different specialty compared to others, and people do get surprised when they start at how different it is. So make sure you do a taste a week and speak to lots of radiology trainees and consultants before you put your application in. For step two, here's where to get all the information you need for your radiology application. You just need to go to the Royal College of Radiologists website, link is in the description, and there you'll find the application timetable, which tells you the dates when applications open and also when things like the interviews and MSRA windows are. The other important document is the person specification, which essentially tells you what you need to be eligible to apply for radiology. Also, it tells you the criteria that are desirable in candidates and gives you a clue as to what to prepare for your portfolio. Once you read that, you then want to start preparing your portfolio documents. The third step is to submit an application. All of the applications are managed on the Aureal website. Again, link is in the description. When you go there, register, and log in. You then need to find the advertisement for your specialty. And for that, you look on the left-hand side and click vacancies, then search for clinical radiology. What will then come up is a long list of radiology related vacancies. The vacancies that say ACF are for people applying for academic clinical fellows. And so only click those if you are applying for that. But for most of us, you want to look for LAKSS or London and Kent, sorry, Sussex, clinical radiology ST1 or LAT1 slash ST1. There's a couple of things you need to note, which is that firstly, last year, there were two applications for ST1 that you could apply for, one starting in February and one starting in August. So make sure you read carefully before you select which one. And last year, you could apply for both. Also, please note that Northern Ireland has its own separate vacancy, which will say NI. In each of the vacancies, they have documents about the application, some of which were also on the RCR website. They will also have the application timeline in the information. From here, you just need to fill in the form, and I'm sure I don't need to tell you how to do that. The main things to remember here are that you will need your complete employment history for the last few years, and also you'll need three references, which are consultants that have supervised you in the last two years, uh, one of whom must be your educational supervisor, who's most familiar with your uh, development. I would advise finding these people early and asking them well in advance. This form is also where you fill in the portfolio self-assessment. Here you mark your portfolio yourself, against the scoring matrix that they give you on the form. And later you'll be asked to verify that with evidence. Then submit your form. Step four is usually the portfolio upload. You'll receive an email from Aureal telling you to upload electronic copies of your documents to an external website. And from this, an interviewer can assess whether or not they believe that you have achieved what you've claimed in your portfolio self-assessment. Make sure you do collect relevant evidence in advance for this, including consultant signed letters, certificates, and copies of things like presentations. Step five is to sit the MSRA exam. Everyone who applies for radiology sits the MSRA, which is the multi-specialty recruitment assessment. It's essentially an online test initially created for GP applications, but now it's been used by various specialties like radiology, GP, psychiatry, neurosurgery, etc. as part of the assessment for specialty applications. At some point, you'll receive an invitation to book your exam. I'd recommend keeping a very close eye on your emails for when this comes through because they really do book up very fast. As you can imagine, several thousand doctors are trying to book them and they only have limited space and dates in the examination centers. Make sure you prepare for the exam properly as well. I'll talk a bit more about that in a later video. Step six is your interview. Only a select few will be invited to interview for radiology and those people are usually selected based on their MSRA and portfolio score. You'll be sent an invitation to book your interview and these are currently being run online on Microsoft Teams. It's unclear whether or not they will go back to face-to-face -face interviews at some point. Step seven is to rank your preferred radiology training schemes. This is all managed through Aureal. You essentially drag the jobs into the wanted section and adjust the order of preference. Just to reassure you, there's no funny algorithms at play here. You just have to rank your most preferred jobs at the top. Another thing to note is that you can usually click the job vacancy and find out where your starting hospital might be. That's quite useful in your decision making. 
then save your choices. My top tip here is to only rank the jobs that you will genuinely accept, uh, for reasons I'll explain a bit later. Step eight is responding to the offers. Eventually offers will be released, and if you are lucky enough to get one, then firstly, congratulations. You're then faced with a couple of options with how to respond to that offer. Those options are usually accept, accept with upgrades, hold with upgrades, or reject. And you only have 48 hours to make that decision before your job gets recycled. So what do those options mean? Accept means what it says, which is that you would accept the job and commit yourself to radiology training in that training scheme. Accept with upgrades means that you accept that job in that training scheme, but if a job you ranked higher comes up, because for example somebody decided not to accept it, then you can get upgraded to that job. Hold with upgrade means that the job is reserved for you. You can be upgraded if a job you ranked higher comes up, but you haven't committed to doing radiology training. People might do this if they've applied to several specialties and they're waiting for the results of those other specialties before choosing. I would personally recommend always picking an option with upgrades because people do reject popular jobs sometimes. If you hold, you can only hold up to a point which is called the hold deadline and from there you have to either accept or reject. Finally, reject means that you don't take the offer and it also stops your application completely. That's really important because it means that if further jobs come out, you won't have any chance of getting them. This is why I said earlier that you should only rank jobs that you want because if you ranked a job you didn't want and you get it, you might be tempted to reject it and that would prevent you from being eligible eligible for any other higher job. Step nine is further application rounds. This is the other reason to only rank jobs that you would like to take. After the first round of applications and jobs has finished, sometimes like in the previous year, they release further jobs and these are as part of rounds two or three or four. As I said earlier, if you rejected an offer before, you would not be eligible for any of these other rounds. These other rounds haven't happened every year, but there is a chance they could happen again. Later, I'll post a video on how to optimize your radiology application and get a high score. Leave any questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Like and subscribe to see more videos like this and I'll see you next time.